Hello world, Jamie Rogers here today for Creative Expressions. I'm going to be looking at a really old technique, but one of my favourites. This is the shaving foam technique. As I say, it's been around for a long time, so I don't really know who's credit for this one. But it's so lovely, I've just got to share it with you. So what you're going to need is some really cheap value shaving foam. This really doesn't have to be the posh stuff. You can use the posh stuff, but there's no point wasting your pennies. We could spend that on more good craft supplies, couldn't we? So good value shaving foam. This one's a supermarket owned brand version, and I've just loaded that into an old lunchbox but any sort of tupperware container or anything along them lines would be fine and then i'm taking my pixie sparkles and tapping them over the top now i'm going to be using peppermint twist red oxide flirty sky and sunburst but with 26 colors to choose from you could make some fun combos for all different seasons and reasons you could of course add in other products as well i've focused today on pixie sparkles but you could add in or use instead airless misters intense pigment stains a whole host of products if you wish to once you've put them onto the foam mist them with some water if you're going for the pixie sparkles swirl it up a little bit with a paintbrush or some sort of implement that you don't mind getting a bit of shaving foam on and then lay your piece of card flat down into the tray give it a little push and then using the edge of a rule or something flat that can easily remove the rest of the excess shaving foam just take that away put the excess back into the tub because we can use that again and you've created yourself a lovely marble-esque background now the pixie sparkles are grand because they're going to have them large shards of mica in it which will give it even more of a shimmer and shine you can then go back and take another print from this you can do as many prints as you wish to this one will be quite light because I've used quite a lot of my product already, um, but I could add in more product and keep going back with product until basically the shaving foam ends up a bit too muddy to use. But I wanted you to see that light backgrounds can look really lovely too. When you feel it's set, just brush off any excess um, shaving foam that's sort of left on the, your card and then you have your backgrounds to work with. As you can see for this one, I've die cut it with my canvas dies. On the next sample, I've used coloured cardstock instead, so play around with that too. All of the products I've shared with you today, except the shaving foam, are of course available from all good creative expression stockists.